crafters it's Amanda I'm here with a video for you today I'm gonna show you how to make this little thoughtful project it's a cute little notebook cover and the matching pen this is a quick simple fun gift you can give to one of your friends co-workers a boss teacher so let's get started I found these little notebooks at the dollar store and it came in a pack of three and so I am using the harvest let me zoom out for a minute the harvest lane simple stories paper pack this thing just has so many cute fall uh, patterns in it I'm gonna use this one my little notebook is three and a half wide so I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this down like that and I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna push along the edge just like that and it's I'm leaving it at six because because it's six by six paper just so you have a little bit of an overhang that's gonna help create your keep it your cover on because that's where you're going to adhere it to so I'm going to go ahead and kind of deepen these score lines a little bit you can use a score tool I'm just not so just like that and I'm going to go ahead and glue this down so I'm just going to take my ATG gun and just you don't want to do it on the front but you can do it right there in the crease the small crease and I'm gonna just slide it up like that make sure I got it even just like that so I'm gonna just ink up the edges a little bit to give it a little distressed look oh. if I use the right ink not black memento but some of this uh, vintage photo just like that I'm just gonna distress the edges a little bit You like my cheap little <laughs> inking tool here? So just like that. Then I took, also from the Harvest Lane collection, this really cute green gingham. And it's just cut at uh, three and a half by one inch. And I'm going to glue, the, I'm going to add some glue to this. But I'm not going to glue it down just yet. I'm just going to use the glue to help adhere some red and white baker's twine. And I'm just going to, I'm going to leave it straight instead of twisting it in the front. Since you're really not going to be able to tell with my little decorative uh, where I'm going to put my sentiment. So I'm just going to kind of spread it out a little bit. And if it's giving you fits like this one is me, you can just take a little piece of tape. add it on there. I'm just going to go ahead and do it on both sides. Run more, a little more adhesive on here to your tape so it'll stick. I probably should have done that in the first place, but I didn't. So I'm just going to glue this down like that. 
and look at this cute little label. That's the word I was trying to use. This is a sneak peek of a stamp set coming soon. But to put my sentiment on here, I'm going to use this really cute fall, happy fall stamp set from my craft spot. It has some really cute little Thanksgiving and thoughtful little sayings. And the one I'm using says, plant, a sm plant smiles, grow laughs, harvest love. I just thought that was so pretty. So I'm going to use my Memento ink. I'm going to ink this up. Line it up inside this fancy, fun, new little label I got. Just like that. And then I'm going to just pop dot it and stick it on over my little green gingham. Like I said, I tried to keep this simple so you could probably whip out several of them to give as gifts if you have you know, a couple teachers, your kids' teachers, or co-workers. I'm just going to stick this all down like that. I made a little bow out of the red and white baker's twine. A little bow, big bow. And I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm just going to adhere it next to my sentiment. like this I didn't think you wanted to watch me make a bow so I went ahead and made it ahead of time took a green button stuck it in the middle well if I got a glue dot on it it might stick in the middle like that and there you go my notebook is finished then for my pen I just found again at the dollar store these cute little come in a pack of two pins what I like about these pins is the bottoms unscrew and I just cut off a little piece if I can find it of my pattern paper that kind of matched my uh and I can't find it there it is that matched my notepad see it doesn't have to be very big at all and then I kind of held it up and eyeballed it to see to measure how long it was and I just used my scissors to trim it down I used the inside piece to roll my paper around so I got a good you know tight roll going so I could fit it inside the tube which is the most difficult part and it just slides right in and then you put your ink back inside screw the bottom in and there you go a cute little coordinating pen to go with your notepad well there's my project for today I'll have photos up on my blog thanks for stopping by Bye.